Like on every any YouTube video that I ever mentioned day to day, people are just like, "Oh my God, you say D to D, you're so stupid and bald, and I hate you." And it's just like, dude, it's just I'm pronouncing a character the way I heard it be pronounced when I was a kid. Hey everybody! So today I am going to be doing a hype tier list. Not a tier list in terms of who's good or not, but who is an exciting character to watch. Obviously, this will be my opinion because there's no objective way to talk about hype. So let's just get into it. But also, did you know that about 50% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed? So if you're watching this video and you like the content, just consider subscribing because I get a lot of views from people that aren't subscribed and I would appreciate it if you subscribed. Also, if you're on the YouTube, you can come to my Twitch and check your Twitch Primes and because you have Amazon, you can connect it to your Twitch account and then do your Prime Gamings and sub to me and you get cool stuff from it. Is this how hype characters are in a competitive setting? Yes. Again, I'm going just to be doing this alphabetical order. Obviously, echoes aren't really included unless they're very different. So the first character I'm going to be doing is Banjo. I think Banjo is a little more hype than people give him credit for because people hate this character. But I think Banjo's pretty cool. I think his like I'm someone that likes setup characters a lot. So something with a grenade and a forward air and all that stuff, especially with the Briegel blaster like side B things. I think this character is really cool. I love his ledge trapping. I love his two framing. I think this character is just pretty cool. They're not incredibly hype because again, a decent amount of the game, they will be running back and doing grenades and running back and doing neutral B, but I think it's better than a lot of different characters. Like a lot of characters are less hype than Banjo. I think Banjo can be pretty cool. Bayonetta. I'm not gonna put Bayo in hype, but I will put Bayo in kinda hype because sometimes her combos last so long that they get exciting. And of course, because she's not as common anymore, we're not kind of saturated with Bayo just being everywhere. So I like seeing Bayos. I like their recoveries. I like how they're inventing their combos. I like the counterplay to them. It's just Bayo's a really dynamic character nowadays and getting the little things that were supposed to be hype in Smash 4, but she was so good that it just made people mad. Now she's not super good. So when she gets kills really early off the side or really early off the top sometimes, although those aren't super frequent, it's just cool. Like, I really like it. I think she's a well-designed character in this game, so she's kind of hype. Bowser. Listen, I know a lot of people complain about Bowser in terms of competitive players because they just think this character has four options and that's it. But you know what? This character's hype because he's constantly forcing interactions. He's constantly having this great ass animation of his up B and his side B. He deals a billion damage. He kills you super early. Sometimes he gets edge guarded really early. But I have very, very rarely seen a match with a Bowser that isn't hype unless they are playing one of the very, very lame characters in this game. I think Bowser is super sick. I love watching Bowser. I love playing as Bowser. I love playing against Bowser. It's just a fun time and it's a very high octane match. Bowser Jr. I'm gonna put Bowser Jr. in kinda hype. I think he does have a lot of things going for him. The only reason, I, in my opinion, he's not hype is one, obviously he's not, like, he doesn't have the crazy amount of setups like a lot of other hype characters, or he's not, like, super intricate, but I do think he has a couple of things that put him into the kinda hype tier, being when someone gets hit by the down B and then you hit them farther away off stage, like with a back throw or something, and then it waits to blow up. I love that. I think it's super cool. I would love Bowser Jr. more if they didn't have to side B in neutral all the time, because I think Bowser Jr. has a lot of cool moves if down tilt was a little better, if side B wasn't just, like, polarizing of a neutral option. I think that, uh... Bowser Jr. could be really cool, but again, because you're going to be doing run back side before air, run back forward air, run back side before air, like a decent amount, I'm not going to put them in hype, but I do think they're in kind of hype because when a Bowser Jr. goes off, like, yo, watching Ketchup's Bowser Jr., watching young Eevee's Bowser Jr., they're sick, and I really, really like them. Byleth is in between two tiers for me. You know what? I'm going to put them, I'm going to bump them a little higher. I think Byleth is in the kind of hype tier. Um, They are a little slow, and they are mostly neutral based, but the punch that is packed by Byleth's weapons, since you die so early, it's actually kind of crazy because you have the up B, which can be crazy combos. You have the new instant double jump combos, which in my opinion are actually sick, uh, which make the character, which put the character to me in kind of hype over meh, because those combos are really long and actually really technical and I'm quite the fan of them. But again, they're not in hype because they're all still kind of like run back and forward for it. Or like they're a poking sword character kind of zoning you out. They're not going to be hype because they're not like going to run in your face and try to force interactions like a couple other characters will. So I think Byleth is kind of hype. Captain Falcon. Listen, I have been a huge Captain Falcon hater my whole Smash career because in Melee, I hated that character because he body Samus and I didn't like it and I don't like Stomp to knee. In Brawl, he was bad and I laughed at him. In Smash 4, I didn't think he was hype. But you know what? I think in this game, Captain Falcon is the hypest he has ever been. 
He has really good burst options in terms of Raptor Boost. He has crazy long combos. You know, one of the reasons I didn't think he was hype in Smash 4 was he was one of the only characters that had point blank safe moves on shield. Like you could do like backer turnaround jab and it was basically 100% safe. And you know, now in this game, a lot of people have moves that are safe on shield. So I'm less mad at Falcon in particular because now it's kind of the engine. So I think that was one of the big things that I didn't like about him. And now he's better. He doesn't have crazy dash grab and he just has to work really hard for his combos now. And again, with the instant double jump stuff, that's just gonna kill people. I think Falcon is really hype. I love Raptor Boost as a move. I love Falcon Kick. I love everything about Falcon. He's always trying to get in there. Again, the game will be very fast for like when you're playing as a Falcon, whether you win or lose because you're either gonna get edge guarded. I think tech checks are hype. So I'm not gonna complain about them because I think it's just a neat little, uh, it's just cool to see. Even if it's like lame as a competitor like as a falcon player but i think it's just really really cool and i think falcon's hype in this game which hurts for me to say because i've never liked falcon krom is one of the hypest characters in ultimate i love krom and roy we'll get to roy later i think krom is super hype i think krom is so fast he gets in there he has kill confirms he has really long combos he has a really obvious disadvantage state he has the fear factor with his up b which again if you're watching as a spectator especially with krom you are always nervous when a krom is off stage one because they might die but two because the person edge guarding them might die at zero as well which i personally think is really like it's kind of silly but it is hype because it's always just like your heart is pounding like the entire time again with amazing combos like maddie g you have neutral you have ledge trapping you have obvious advantage state you have obvious good and bad for Krom, and i feel like characters that have obvious is good obvious good and bad are hype because you can kind of follow the game flow pretty easily and it, again, the game flow is so fast with Krom that I, I can't not give him hype. Krom's hype. Rivers is sick. I love Rivers. Cloud. I'm going to put Cloud in meh. I'm not a huge Cloud fan. Uh, honestly, he was definitely cooler. He could have been cooler in Smash 4. Like, the, the some Clouds played him very cool, but I don't think... Ultimately, Optimal Cloud was cool because it just spammed back air, and unfortunately, the cool part of Cloud isn't really in this game, and now it's just kind of the lame Cloud, which is up the out of shield, you have forward air, you have, um, just, you're spamming aerials that are on shield, and, like, you're not trying to do anything other than kind of poke out at people, and then very slowly just do things, and sure, you have advantage of, like, up air and stuff like that, but the only way this character would be higher in the hype list is if they did finishing touch more, because finishing touch is sick. But no one ever finishing touches because it's bad. If finishing touch was better, character's kinda hype. But they're not, so it's eh. Cloud Nair is wrecked. Get the fuck over it. Cloud Mains, I swear to god, are the most complaining ass motherfuckers on the planet. Because they're like, oh my god, my Nair is so small, it's the size of a normal Nair now, instead of being the size of goddamn Jupiter. Corin. I think Corin can be kinda hype. I think similar to Byleth, again, they're slow sword character, but they have like such long combos and they have enough kill confirms that i think this character's cool i think two framing with pin is cool i think their recovery just looks cool and even though it's like not the best recovery again high risk not high risk recoveries but like recoveries that can be messed with i think kind of put characters more in kind of hype if they're like not super ass recoveries like let's say doc or little mac because you give them a chance to like, you get someone a chance to edge guard, but if not, it's like, oh, a huge reward or something like that. Um, I do think Corrin can play pretty lame neutral if they're just spamming back air, sure, which is one of the reasons they will never be in hype tier, but I do think they're pretty cool. Like, I do like fair dragon shot. I do like up air. I do like fair up airs. I like their slow juggling. I like their baits. Of course, they have counter, which automatically, like, ledge hop counter is just going to be like the hypest thing for like most characters because it's just like, oh, you died at 40 from across the stage. <laughs> just dead. Um, yeah, I think Corrin's pretty cool. Are they ranked within each tier? No. Diddy Kong. I think Diddy, hmm. He's not not hype. Honestly, just as a spoiler, I don't really have a lot of not hype characters. He's an interesting one. Because Diddy, I'll, I'll talk it through. Diddy, to me, is bordering more towards Mac. Because I think um, Diddy has some cool combos and some cool confirms. But... 80% of his game is going to be, he has banana, dash, 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 throw banana, dash, dash, side B. Like, that's basically his neutral. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in meh. But yeah, I think he's meh. I think, again, Diddy can be cool. Nair downers are cool, confirm. You have barrel stuff. You have, uh, I, I love the infinite. I think he would have maybe been in kind of hype with the infinite because I just like watching that type of stuff. His neutral's a little too lame. I think his neutral's very one-dimensional with just dashing back and trying to get people to whiff and then um, just throw a banana and like do that type of stuff. He can be cool, but the majority of his game isn't cool, so I'm gonna put him in meh. Actually, with that in mind, I'm gonna move Bowser Jr. down to, eh, no, Bowser Jr.'s pretty high. Donkey Kong, I, DK? DK's hype. 
But DK in this game, I feel like, is just a huge rushdown monster. Like, he's not great at it, because DK's not a good character. But he has DKO, he has down B, he has his dash attack, he just tries to get in there, his down B's really hype, his up B, I love. Um, there's just so much with this character, and I feel like he does so much damage that it's just like every single hit, you're like, oh my god, oh, I'm gonna die, and you just watch it. You see characters go from 0 to 40, 40 to 80, and they just explode into 17 pieces of candy. Not candy corn, though. You know, I know Halloween's coming up. Candy corn, not good. I think it's really cool. He has more spikes than anyone in the game because he has down B and side B and down air and forwarder, and you know we all love a good spike. You know we love a good destruction. Like, that's like that's the nature of Smash. The spikes are cool, which is one of the reasons I like the spike mechanic mechanic changing. So yeah, I think DK's hype. Dr. Mario. I think Doc can be kind of hype. I'm not going to say he is hype, but I think Doc is kind of hype. He's a little too slow, in my opinion, to be hype. I don't think a slow character can really be in hype, just because even though, if you, even if you're running forward, it's not going to be crazy. So Doc is going to be one of those characters that when he hits you, he can do a ton of damage, or not a ton of damage, but like he can do strings, like he can do dash attack, up air, read your jump into weak up air, back air. He has, of course, down throw, down B. He has down B in general. Of course, he has up B at a shield, which is a really satisfying hit. He has his spike. He has forward air. He has a lot of very satisfying moves and his strings can be really cool. Of course, he has cape. He can edge guard a little bit. He can two frame. His back throw is probably one of the most visually appealing back throws in the game. So I think it's kind of hype. Duck Hunt. I think Ken is one of the coolest projectiles in the game, so I'm gonna put Duck Hunt in kind of hype. He can be lame, and I'm not gonna lie. Decent amount of Duck Hunts just play lame, but I think the control of Ken and the confirms with it uh, are definitely kind of hype. Again, I'm a fan of setup-based zoners, like, you're not going to have Snake and not Hype. It's just not going to happen. So for me, Duck Hunt is kind of Hype because when Duck Hunts get, like, good confirms or good side B confirms, like side B, side B, back air, side B, side B, down air, stuff like that, it's just, it's so sick. Again, bad Duck Hunts, yeah, pretty lame, but I'm not talking about necessarily bad Duck Hunts. I don't know, I, I just like, I like the setups, I like his normals, and just everything about this character is kind of just like, you have, because there is so much to, like, look at on the screen, it's definitely a very captivating experience if you're just not thinking, oh my god, it's so lame, ugh, okay. Because, like, if you get out of that toxic-ass mindset, like, you can actually appreciate that Duck Hunt's pretty cool. Falco. I think Falco's hype. I think a lot of what Falco wants to do, especially now with his long-ass combos with, like, down throw and forward air and down tilt and stuff like that, I think Falco is pretty damn hype. He has really long combos, he has great throw animations, he has just great animations in general, he has edge guarding, he has wall jumping, he has a decent recovery, he has burst options with side B that can confirm into back air, but Falco is just like an awesome character. Again, very one-dimensional design, but that one dimension is hype, so I'm about it. Like, I, I just like Falco, I think Falco's cool. Like, I don't necessarily like playing against him, but I think watching him and kind of seeing how he is as a character is pretty hype, so I'm about it. Hype, baby. Meta Knight. The thing about Meta Knight is, again, he has a very one-dimensional playstyle, but I think he's kind of hype. I'm not going to put him in hype hype because he downer camps a little too much, but I think characters that have really long combos, really good edge guards, really just, just a lot of different edge guards because you have like forward air, you have nair, you have tornado, you of course have his huge combos, all that type of stuff to me is pretty cool. It's not going to be hype enough to be in hype tier because he's not like always running at your face, but I do think that his offense easily generates enough kind of hype and his disadvantage can lead to advantage if you like try to swing at him and he double jumps and then landing nairs. I think that he is quite cool, so kind of hype. Joker, I'm gonna put in hype. I feel like the presence of Arsene itself just will instantly make this character hype. Every single match puts you at the edge of your seat. And yeah, as a competitor, is Arsene kind of stupid? For sure. But the stupid is still hype because things like down or up smash is hype. Things like fair up air into drag into like up smash or down smash, as Arsene or not, is hype. Tetracorn is a cool counter to watch, not to experience, but to watch. Of course, because he has the ups and downs, you're always constantly looking at the meter, and everyone I feel like that watches Joker is just like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, is Arson coming? Oh my god, is it gonna be the comeback? And that type of, like, feeling that you get when you're watching this character easily, to me, translates as hype. Also, Leo's got like so. Fox? Fox is hype. 
This character is so explosive. He's always trying to run at your face, sometimes with punishes, but his speed is so, like, smothering. And I feel like Fox, his combos are obviously somewhat repetitive, but I think they are still hype because you just feel it like every just the uh, 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 the up airs, the up tilts, the parries, like, like up tilt, parry, up tilt is like for no reason the hypest thing that any single time Light or Passeri Man do it, the crowd just immediately goes like, ah, that's crazy, every single time. And I really, really just like watching Fox. Of course, there is the stress of him being off stage, which means that every situation can be high pressure. And again, high pressure to me is part of what hype really really is, so I don't know. I think this character is pretty damn hype. Ganondorf. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna get a lot of crap for this. I think Ganondorf is at best in kind of hype, because he's slow. He has really big moves, sure, but to me, I guess as, a, as like, knowing how bad Ganon is, to me, I'm just like, ugh, none of this stuff should be working. People shouldn't be getting hit by up smashes. People shouldn't be getting hit by forward smashes. Just be patient, just blah, blah, blah. Like, sure, MGK's stuff, uh, on Twitter is pretty damn cool and I'm not going to lie uh, but Ganondorf is very close to the meh tier for me he does do a little bit too much damage and of course when you're playing as Ganon you get those downers those uppers those backers like his hits are very satisfying so I will put him in kind of hype but uh, he's definitely not hype and I'm sorry for the people that are gonna get mad at that hmm Greninja's either in kind of hype or hype he's either like the very top of kind of hype or hype for sure no Greninja's hype because Greninja's got all the things that are hype, which is drag downs, he's got confirms, he's got speed, he's got disrespectful moves in terms of his side B, he's got a good up air, he's got a really satisfying to hit forward air and forward smash. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put Greninja in hype. He's just a cool character. Again, decent amount of his play will just be dashing back and then dashing back in, but you know what? Welcome to ultimate. That's gonna happen. Characters of speed are gonna whiff punish, so I guess I do have to put him in hype because once he gets the hit, this character is kind of godlike. Also, yeah, the spike or the uh, the counter for Greninja is one of the coolest counters because you can have direction with it. And of course, you can get counter spikes, which I think is super sick. So I'm about it. Hero. I love Hero personally. Actually, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the one with Munchie. I really like Hero, but unfortunately, rolling for good spells is not hype and you need to do that to be a good hero. So I'm gonna put him in meh. He's not in not hype necessarily because when he gets Accelerattle, when he gets Kaboom, like the spells can be hype by themselves, especially like Magic Burst, you have Accelerattle, you have like the Shield Breaks with Oomph and stuff like that, which granted people don't like, but I do think it is hype because if you are not someone that rages at it and you're just like, oh my God, this is like silly, which is kind of what I think about it. It's just like, yo, his shield broke at 10 and then he got crit and died. That's pretty hype. It's lame but a different type of lame than a hype lame, so I'm gonna put him at least in meh. I do like a lot of his moves, but again, running back and ru and rolling for spells isn't going to be hype enough to put him higher than this. Ice Climbers, hype. I may be biased because I love doing Ice Climber combos, but Ice Climbers are hype. If they get their hits, they're so cool. If they do, like, desyncs are so sick. Combos are so sick. Yeah, side B is pretty broken, but you can side B into decent combos, into footstools, into all this crazy, <laughs> all this crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. I love Ice climbers. Also, Sopo comebacks, hype, right? So half of the com half of the character is a little slower, but hype because Sopo comebacks. Whereas ice climbers themselves are definitely hype. They are super sick. I love ice climbers. Ike. Yeah, I'm gonna put Ike in. Is he in meh or in kind of hype? I think he's in kind of hype. I do think Aether is a cool enough move that he's in kind of hype. I think Eruption is a cool move. I think, like, I don't think, like, an air up air is cool. I do like, like, sound effects. Again, I do like the couple moves that I mentioned. But overall, the gameplay, the game plan of this character is very much so just nair. But I think dash attack, I think back air, the smash attacks, of course, aether, eruption, are going to be cool enough that he's in kind of hype. Maybe, maybe the top of meh. But I, th I think Ike is decent. Again, I love this game, so I'm going to have a lot of characters in these two tiers, just so you know, so it's not like he's necessarily top 30 hype, but I, I like this character. I think Ike's like decently cool. Yoshi, high key, I love Yoshi. I think Yoshi is at the very least in kind of hype, because Yoshi schmoves on people. His combos are actually awesome. I love his movement in the air. I love his combos. I love the damage he can do. I love just the constant like, like the only lame thing about this character, in my opinion, is his double jump out of hit stun. 
And that's about it. Because, like, his air mobility makes it really cool because he can move really fast and he get in people's faces. And, like, sure, egg can be kind of lame, but also a lot of Yoshis use egg to approach, like, short hop egg and then, like, land with Nair. And if someone's running in your face, I find that to be kind of hype because I like when people run in people's faces. Like, you can't play Yoshi lame, but... It's not like he has to play lame like a couple other characters that I will get to. The, I think Yoshi's pretty hype. Like, I personally want to put Yoshi in hype, but also if I do that, I'm pretty sure people will knock on my door and try to take my Smash Bros card away from me. Stop listening to Kony, he has false propaganda. But also go subscribe to him on YouTube. Like, it can be frustrating to play against, but I think playing as Yoshi definitely makes up for it. He's literally one of my favorite characters to play in the entire game. Incineroar! Again, slow characters cannot be in the hype tier. Otherwise, Incineroar would be high tier, or hype tier. But I think Incineroar is kind of hype, because when he gets in, he does cool things. Revenge is such a sick move. The animation for side B is super cool. I love the guaranteed, like, shield break slash shield pokes, his damage output, his animations. I love the fact that he, like, does his little showboating after moves, which to me is just one of my favorite things. I think Incineroar is pretty hype. He's not hype, because he's too slow, so a lot of characters can just kind of run away from him, and it makes games with Incineroar not hype. And that's not even like a, like, a, oh, specific characters can. Like, no, most characters can kind of run away from Incineroar. But if he was a little faster, one, he would be broken. And two, he'd be hype. Like, his animations are just great. His combos are satisfying. His sound design is great. So I like it. Inkling. Is Inkling my first not hype? What is hype about this character? Like, what, is there any saving grace for Inkling? Because I don't think their movement is hype. I don't think Roller's hype. Because berries aren't hype. Berries are never hype. I'm gonna put Inkling in not hype. I think Inkling is one of the first characters that is not hype. I really don't like the sound design of a lot of their moves. I hate how they play, which is just only spamming safe aerials. Like basically, it's Cloud without the coolness of Limit and without the coolness of how Cloud's sword looks when he's swinging it, which is definitely like aesthetics are definitely part of hype. I don't think Inkling is hype because their game plan is so linear and Nair is a terrible animation, which I feel like it could be a cool animation, but I don't think it is. Uh, like currently, I don't like back air, I don't like roller, I don't like their kill confirms, splat bomb is stupid, it like obscures so much vision, it's like one of the most fundamental characters, but with no cool animations to really back it up, and no cool like confirms, because up throw upper is not even that cool, because like it just, it doesn't look like it should kill you and then you explode, so, yeah I think Inkling's my first not hype. Isabel! I'm gonna put Isabel in meh, I think that a lot of people would put Isabel in not hype, Isabel can sometimes schmoove on characters. Isabel has a lot of cool things, and the character just kind of suddenly has burst damage and suddenly has burst things, and honestly I really like jab to down smash and jab to forward tilt, but again, this character is camping, like with forward airs and with down bees and with side bees and stuff like that. I don't think side B edge guarding is hype, uh, but I think this character does randomly have a lot of burst, like cool options in the center, and I definitely want to give them that, uh, like, that amount of credit. I think they are can be very lame, but I think they can be at least kind of hype, and the average of that is in meh. Jigglypuff. I think Jigs is hype. I think a high risk, high reward character like Puff, where if you miss a rest, you die. She has rest combos. She of course can play lame and kind of just like wall you out with like aerials and stuff like that, but I think Puff, because of rest, literally because of rest and because of sing, is hype. I love Jigs. And there's a reason that so many people, besides the fact that Hungrybox is a big name, there's a reason why so many people like watching Hungrybox is because his sets and Puff sets in general just have this anxiety that you have of just like, oh my god, are they going to get a rest? Oh my god, am I going to get rested? Oh my god, am I Puff? Am I going to get the rests and get the wins? I think Puff is super hype and they're fast enough in the air. I just like characters that can kind of weave in and out and like have really good shield pressure and again, pretty safe. Uh, pretty safe shield like moves on shield which is really cool again they don't really have a lot of ground moves and they can be zoned out but i think puff has always the options and always has the comeback factor which is similar to what i said about joker with like arson and puff has that in spades because of rest so i'm gonna give it uh i'm gonna give puff hype ken listen i think the shotos are lame but that's because i play against them when you are watching the shotos they're at the very least kind of hype because they run at you and they try to kill you and they run at you and they try to kill you and they're always a looming force that's just there being like, I'm gonna get ya, I'm gonna get ya, down tilt, down tilt, I'm gonna get ya, I'm gonna do all these things, I'm gonna shield pressure you, I'm gonna do these things, and yeah, it's kind of lame in terms of like frame data and in terms of what you can do against them, but that ain't what I'm talking about. Ken is hype to watch because, listen, I'm not putting him in pure hype because of my bias against just the shield pressure because it's very not like other characters but he is he's at the very least in the top of kind of hype like i think the the tilts are a little too safe and a little too good 
to be in hype. I can imagine if it's hype, and I was very happy when Ken and Ryu got buffed in the first place. I was like, yo, if we have tournaments where people are running up to you and trying to kill you, like, that's awesome. I think that is super cool and fun and good for the game, even if the, like, goodness of it is kind of lame in terms of, like, as a competitor, like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do against that on shield? It's like, okay, well, I'd rather have a good rushdown character than a good zoning character, you know what I'm saying? Again, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with this tier list because everyone has such a negative goddamn opinion of this game, which is, like, really frustrating and stupid. So, like, I'm trying to just get people to realize that, like, characters can be cool even if you don't like playing against them. Ness is my most hated character. I dislike that character so much. I think so many of the things he have are ridiculous, and I dislike them. But that's as someone playing against Ness. Watching Ness or playing as Ness, God, this character's so hype. He can do, like anything he wants he can like the magnet combos are sick pk thunder can be so cool he has of course his edge guarding he has his combos that are crazy he has like magnet down air he has pk flash he has so many things that are actually awesome like when you get the hits as ness it feels so satisfying and it feels so good playing against it hate it i want to, him to not be in the game i'm not going to let my personal biases of not liking a character mean like to say that the character's not hype because the character's hype there's a reason why people pop off for best nest there's a reason why people pop off for gak there's a reason why people pop off for all the nest mates like austin like dude there are so many cool nest players it's just because the character has sauce the character's dripping i don't care about a travis scott burger but with barbecue sauce because ness has the sauce already i can just play smash that was a terrible joke chat i'm sorry i apologize everyone that was bad pichu i think pichu is hype pichu is literally one of the coolest characters in this game. His combo routes and his extensions and the way to combo into Thunder and his kill potential and of course him being light means that he's a super glass cannon. I think Pichu is so cool. I think Pichu is one of the coolest aggressive characters in the entire game. If this game was solely if this game was solely aggressive, I think Pichu would be an amazing character because his combos are so cool. Have you watched like the Kaoru or whatever his name is from Japan? His combo videos are like the coolest thing ever, especially with instant double jump. He has the new combos on Battlefield and stuff like that. It's just, he's so cool. He, Pichu's sick. Pichu is so sick. Unfortunately, gets lamed out really hard, but like Pichu, you always are on the edge of your seat because he has great edge guarding. He has amazing spikes. He has thunder. He has all this damaging combos. He kills you super early. And of course, because he's glass cannon, just the, the tent, the pressure is always on in terms of even being a spectator. So I think Pichu's sick. I love Pichu. King Day Day Day. Yes, I say Day Day Day. I'm going to show y'all why I say King Day 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 and not DDD. Listen, do it again. Day to day. It also is said as DDD. I don't say people that say DDD are wrong, but I get so much shit for saying day to day. Like on every any YouTube video that I ever mention day to day, people are just like, oh my god, you say it as DDD. You're so stupid and bald and I hate you. And it's just like, dude, it's just I'm pronouncing a character the way I heard it be pronounced when I was a kid. So day to day, I think he's uh, he's either like the bottom of meh or not hype. Again, he's slow. If his sound design was better, it would be awesome because I feel like a big thing about DK and Bowser is the fact that their sound design is just sick and they would be hype. I mean, they're hype partly because of that. Day to day's uh, sound design is just not great. Everything kind of sounds wet noodly. His forward tilt, his back air, his up air. Like the only cool thing that's like for in terms of sound design in day to day is his up B, his neutral B, and his side B, and like that's it. He can be cool. I th I love um, when you like get the Gordo stuck at the legend like downer and stuff like that, but it's just he's just not. It's not hype enough. Like he's too slow. He doesn't have enough to do. He's very much so a neutral character, and the sound design just makes everything sound not satisfying. So I can never really get into it and be excited about it. So I think Snake. Listen, people hate this character, but again, as I mentioned with Duck Hunt, I think setup characters are actually really cool. I'm not gonna put him in hype because a lot of the times he is zoning, but I think Snake is kind of hype. Because if you are playing Snake, you're constantly thinking, you're constantly figuring out how to do stuff, you're constantly just like having to be aware of what your opponent's doing, you have different Nikita angles, you have to know how to recover, of course, technically they're somewhat demanding because you constantly have to be B-reversing and, you know, not B-reversing and wave bouncing and just making sure that you can, like, 
land. I think Snake has so much thinking that goes into him that he's super cool. Also, his sound design is amazing. One of the only moves that I don't like how it sounds in Snake is weak up tilt specifically, but like down smash is super cool. Thank you, Kodiak Drake. You have up smash, you have forward smash, which is just a sick move. You have Nikita, you have grenade explosions, you have C4, like C4 is so satisfying, right? Like Snake is cool. I'm not gonna put him in height, but he's pretty close. IMO, like I love Snake. K rule. Listen, K rule is definitely not in hype because he spams too many projectiles. Is he in kind of hype or is he in meh? I think the animations and the sound design of K rule put him in kind of hype. I think, like, I think K rule is basically what I think about day to day, but with good sound design because his back ear, like, like that's a, such a cool sounding move. The armor sounds great. The cannonball, the crown, the ear. Like, there are so many cool sounds that this character has. For some reason, up air sounds the way it does, which I don't know why. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why. But I think that K. Rule, like, his gameplay is pretty cool. I mean, he does definitely try to hit you a couple times and get you off stage and, like, edge trap you and stuff like that. But I do think he wants to fight you a decent amount. Of course, he does have his good projectiles, and then someone maybe can, like, force their way into it. I think that K. Rule. Even with his projectiles, like his dash tag is super cool. I love his back throw. His back throw is so cool. Like his sounds and his animations are so sick that even if he plays sometimes in a lame way, like I think it's just cool. Like it's very, because he's strong, like everything matters. He does, like his up throw is so sick, it does 20%. Of course, he does have Barry, which I will knock him a few points for, but I do think K. Roll is overall like pretty cool. Kirby. I'm gonna put Kirby in kind of hype. Kirby? is slow but when kirby gets in there those edge guards those down airs that rock down tilt f tilt forward smash all these moves just get you hype like i love seeing forward air chains i love dash attack i love down air i love back air just the strength of kirby makes this character kind of hype because when you're watching this kirby like when you're watching this character you're kind of like haha nothing's happening oh, nothing's happening oh my god what happened and like that reaction is the epitome of what you have when you watch Kirby, at least, especially after the patch, I would have probably put Kirby in meh before the patch, but the buffs have helped Kirby enough that it's just sick. Also, Dare Ride is super cool. Love that combo, even though it's really, really hard. I think like Drag Down Fair Down Smash is super cool. I just, I think I like Kirby. I think Kirby's kind of cool. I think Kirby's kind of hype. Link is the character that is the epitome of two places at once. If he wants to spam Nair, that's not hype. If he wants to camp, that's not hype. But damn, some of his combos are so cool. Like, he's definitely not here. I'm saying he can be hype. Like, his, I love the infinite. I love bomb combos. I love that type of stuff that, like, ends in spikes and ends in uppies. I think that is super, super cool. But then he spams Nair. And then spams Boomerang. And does a bunch of meh stuff. So I'm going to put him in kind of hype, because that's kind of the middle. Because Link has the possibility to be hype. But obviously, it's not optimal to be hype all the time when you play Link, because his projectiles and his Nair are, like, really, really good. Like, his Nair is one of the best Nairs in the game for a reason. So why would you not spam it, you know? But if you're spamming that, that's not as hype. Little Mac. I think Little Mac is meh. He's fast, and it can be cool. But IMO, like, his design is so silly to me that he can't be hype. He can be cool as fast. He's, his KO punch is like cool, I guess. But like his recovery is so bad and his just, he doesn't, like if he had more combos, fine. But like the thing about Little Mac is it's like F tilt, down tilt, side B. Those are your combos. That's the entirety of it. So if he had more combos and he was the way he was, I'd put him in kind of hype, but I think he's meh. Cause like he just plays neutral with super armor and is fast and has a terrible recovery. Lucario. I think Lucario's meh. I think Lucario 80% of the game is really lame because he's either not doing anything or he's like kind of running around and camping and being weird and being floaty and like trying, people, trying to make people whiff or like charging aura sphere. But then he has aura and that should go hard. That should go crazy. But honestly, like I don't think he's hype when he has no aura and then he's kind of hype when he has aura, even though it's kind of stupid dying at 30 because it's just like single hits too. I wouldn't even consider him hype. Like it's scary because you want to scream. Uh, which I guess I've said is good for a couple other characters, which is why I'm putting him in meh and not not hype. I just think Lucario's <laughs> Lucas again. Lucas is a character like Link that some Lucases go off. They run at you. They use their frame data. They're just aggressive monsters. 
and then you have PK Fire Spammers. So I'm gonna put Lucas in kind of hype because the better Lucases aren't really lame. They have double jump cancel Zer combos, which are awesome to me. They have great edge guards. They have really sick combos. They have amazing pressure. Like I think Lucas's pressure is one of the most underrated things in the game, which is one of the reasons why I think Lucas is a better character than a lot of other people do. Like putting him in like the very bottom of high tier slash the very, very, very top of mid tier. I think this character is sick. I think their frame rate is great. They can be really aggressive. They're not super fast. So they like sometimes have to get people to approach them when they're using PK fire. But then in, in the mid range, suddenly they go off and they like are super aggressive and super crazy. So I think Lucas is pretty cool. Lucina. I think Lucina is meh. I think a not real character, like not real combo sword character isn't hype. They're not not hype because they're not lame. But they're just kind of in the middle of the road where they're like spacing you out and they're doing cool things and sometimes they're edge guarding you and like up air, read air dodge, up tilt, read air dodge, up tilt, read not air dodge, back air, forward air off stage. Which is cool, but they're just not cool enough. Luigi, listen, we all hate the zero to death, right? Playing against Luigi. But watching the zero to death is cool. I hate to say it, but watching Luigi do his combos is cool. Down throw, down B, down throw, up B. The, the infinite? Did you see what uh, Elegant did to Shuton? Did you see what Elegant did to Shuton? He went nuts. He did the craziest stuff. He's not even a one trick if you play him like that. I'm not gonna put him in hype because it's a little too one dimensional, a little too grab centric. But I think this character is fast enough and has combos and has edge guarding. Like this character is a spaz, and that's like all you can ask for. Like, he runs at you and just does He just brr at you. And I think that's kind of hype. Mario. Forward aerial. His combos are sick. Watching Prodigy, like, the perfect example. Like, I think Mario's lame, personally, um, in terms of, like, fighting against him. I don't like it. Mario's combos are so satisfying. Combos that can lead into spikes are cool. Combos that lead into down air to kill off the top with the kill screens are cool. His battlefield combos are exciting. They are very, very exciting. And yeah, can this character play lame and neutral and Flood is so stupid and his frame beat is amazing? Yeah, but does it look cool and is it satisfying to watch? There's a reason why so many people like Dark Wizzy, you know, in terms of his gameplay. I, I gotta put Mario on hype. Like Mr. Forward Ariel. I think if Jacob didn't say forward aerial, maybe he wouldn't be hype. Marth. To be honest, Marth is still in meh, just better than Lucina. Because Marth's tippers do add a layer of hype, right? For sure. Because he has better sound design because of it. He has more satisfying things. Eh, I'll put him in kind of hype. He's bad. Don't get me wrong. Marth's bad. But I think tippers add a layer of hype to him because, again, it's more satisfying to watch. It's more satisfying to listen to, you know, hitting him. He does so much, like, it's he does so much knockback and it's crazy and it's super cool. But then at the same time, he kind of just fishes for up tilt and fishes for juggling like Lucina does. I definitely think forward smash tipper like automatically makes uh, Marth more hype than Lucina. So I'm gonna put him in. Uh, he's either like the top of meh or the bottom of kind of hype. Mega Man. Listen, did y'all see how Peebnut played last weekend at the Gommel online? Have you seen how Kamame plays? Yes, this character has Leaf Shield and this character has Pellet, which are kind of stupid, which is why they're in meh and not in kind of hype. But this character can kind of go off. This character, Down Air, is awesome. Styles is Mega Man with the like the highlights that he's gotten is awesome. But unfortunately, the majority of the game, you're going to be pelleting and using side B and just throwing neutral B out and just doing that type of stuff. So I can't put him higher than this, but I think Mega Man is like, he can be cool, but he's just not going to be cool the majority of the game. I think his design is amazing though. Mewtwo. I think Mewtwo's kind of hype. I personally don't like playing Mewtwo. I personally don't even like playing against Mewtwo. But again, Mewtwo's sound design and his aesthetics are easily enough to put him in kind of hype because it does a ton of damage. Down smash is sick. Down B is sick. Side B to forward air is awesome. He has really satisfying moves in terms of back air and up air and forward air. He has the one of the coolest throws in the entire history of Smash, which is forward throw. I just love that throw. Up throw is also super cool. He spawns a galaxy. Is optimal play necessarily fun with him? No, because he's going to spam Shadow Ball. But also, he uses Shadow Ball a lot of times to approach. And if you use your projectile to approach, like Mewtwo or Pichu, or eventually going to come up my character, like, I think that's pretty hype. I do like Mewtwo's combo routes. I do like a lot of little things about this character. I wish if Downer was easier to hit, he'd be maybe hype hype, but I think he's going to be kind of hype here. Me Brawler. I low-key, this character goes. 
Me Brawler goes. I've been playing him more recently, which uh, I don't know if by the time this video comes out, I'll have already had my video, but if it is, I'll link it in the card, which should be just above me. Um, but I think Me Brawler, he goes off. He's so fast. He tries to kill you. He has really cool kill confirms. He has just sick combos he has of course multiple different moves that you can use but like i think brawler's hype he runs in there he's like fox and fox is in hype i don't know is me brawler in me brawler might be in hype dude he's hype he's kind of hype is he hype or is he kind of hype i don't know he's sick me brawler's sick you can play this character sick as hell this character is cool i don't know man this character's hype i'm sorry me brawler is cool i don't like the other me's I think Me Brawler is hype. He runs at you, he does crazy combos, he kills you super early. He has really disrespectful moves if you want to use them. I love his side B. You can make his voices really cool or silly, which to me is kind of hype. But I just, I don't know, Me Brawler's hype. Me Gunner, not hype. Sorry, Me Gunner literally runs away the whole time, all the time, all the time. I think they're sleep. I think their ledge trapping is the most repetitive. They, they zone the entire time, and they don't even have anything other than the zoning, except for like, dash attack. Like, I think they're just lame. I just think they're lame. You know who's also lame? Me Swordsman. And I'm not saying this because they're Mies. I'm literally saying this because of how they play. I do like the sound design of uh, Me Sword Fighter. I don't know, man. Like, so much of the game, he's running back and doing side B. Like, neutral B to up B isn't hype the, th you know, three millionth time we've seen it since the game came out. Just, he's a lame sword here that's trying to wall you up, but then has projectiles. So it's like, less sauce than people like Lucino or Cloud or something like that. So I just think, I think this character's pretty lame. Like, Sword Fighter might be lamer than Gunner. Because at least Gunner has, like, better sound design and, like, dash attack and down smash and stuff like that. I don't know. Min Min. Listen. This is my bias like hell. There is no way Min Min is at the very least not in kind of hype. Because listen, I know. She just spams arm and jumps away and spams arm and jumps away but like yo her combos yo her sound design yo the amount like snake that you have to think constantly when you are playing this character is crazy the one thing that guarantees put her below all these characters in terms of when she's lame is down angle ram ram that's dumb that's so stupid but i love this character man i think this character is so cool watching people play this character to me is so enthralling and i love watching this character there's so much to think about there's so much to just constantly think of and listen this is probably my worst opinion of all of them and i'm aware of this i know this character is like objectively pretty lame but like god i think this character is cool and i love the different arms and i love the edge guarding and like not with the rammer but like normal edge guarding i love the combos just yes this is totally me i know she's like realistically probably like here or like here somewhere, but I, th I love this character. I love Min Min so much. Mr. Game & Watch. I'm not even talking about my bias. The large majority of Game & Watch's gameplay, unfortunately, is up B and down air. That's like 50% of it. I think Meister plays amazingly, but berry mechanics are lame. It's so hard to punish him. His animations are annoying. His sound design's mediocre. And this, this has nothing to do with like my personal, I don't like playing against the characters. As you can see, I have Ness and Hype and I hate this character. Like I hate Ness more than Game & Watch, but I just think Game & Watch doesn't do like, up air, is, up air is so stupid to have to deal with because it's just like a big hitbox that you can't deal with. Down Smash is lame. His like Chef is so lame and it like invalidates so many characters and it doesn't even look cool. Like at least sometimes Pikachu's combos when he's invalidating characters look cool and so does Palu. But like Game & Watch just chefs at the ledge for 30 seconds. Like I respect a lot of Game & Watch players. I respect Meister to hell, but I don't think he's cool. Pac-Man. Pac-Man's in meh. You can play this character kind of cool. There are cool things with this character. Like of course the double Galaga side B combo is like pretty sick. He does have individual little things of sauce, but like Dude, he literally is going to stand behind Hydrant and for 80% of the game, literally. He does nothing the majority of the time, the large majority of the time. I love T, but he also stands behind Hydrant and charges fruit. Like, water is a lame mechanic. The fact that you can't really do anything about it, just Hydrant's lame, charging fruit is lame. He takes forever to recover. Like, he's got some sauce, but that's the only, like, he has some sauce and that's keeping him from not hype. Cause not hype isn't, like, that's a bad place to be. There's literally going to be, like, seven characters maximum and, like, not hype, probably. So, like, he has cool combos, but, like, his neutral is largely doing nothing. Palutena. Palutena is also in meh. I can't tell if Palutena is in meh or in kind of hype. I'm gonna say meh. I think her aerials are too overwhelming. If she had a better out of shield option or better, um, cooler moves, like, her moves are really good, and I like playing Palutena a lot. I think she can be very cool. 
Uh, and she's really fast and she has a bunch of like movement and she has edge cancels and stuff like that. Well, actually, because of those reasons, I'm gonna put her in kind of hype. I know people hate Palu, but I think her movement and her speed is enough to put her here. Her sound design is great. Thank God they changed her Nair when they did to like make it faster. If it was like the beginning, Palu, like never, ever, ever, ever. The only thing that, the only problem I have with Palu in, in terms of maybe putting her in meh is she doesn't really have kill confirms because like, I think kill confirms are hype, personally. <laughs> um, so like, you know, it's like, oh man, this is it, right? But like edge cancels are pretty hype. She's fast, she's constantly moving. And like, yeah, spamming backer is not hype and spamming uh, like dash attack aren't hype, but like, that's why she's not in hype. And that's why she's on the lower end of kind of hype for sure. Peach is pretty fucking hype. <sighs> she in hyper and kind of hype. Listen, I, I think Peach can play lame as hell. But her, like, she's so fast. Peach is so applicably fast, and she has crazy long combos, and they look so cool, and they're so satisfying to land, they're so satisfying to watch. They're not satisfying to necessarily get hit by, because they take forever, and it's silly. But, like, this character just looks cool. This character is very satisfying to watch, to play. She has a bunch of different moves. She has, like, because of float, she's constantly mixing up every single goddamn anything. That's just cool. She's not, she's gonna be the slowest character in top tier, or in hype tier. Pikachu! I don't give a fuck what y'all say. This character is hype. Pikachu is hype. Busted. Nice as hell. Um, if I was to objectively rank Pikachu, I'd probably put him in kind of hype. He's either hype or kind of hype, because Pikachu can play really, really, really lame. Like, Pikachu can just run away forever, and he's so good at it. But also, I do love using T-Jolts as an approach option. If he had more varied combo routes, I would say that he's hype like one of the reasons that pichu is going to be higher than pikachu in terms of cooler is the fact that pichu's combo routes are a lot different and they look very different whereas pikachu's combo routes are nair up tilt nair up tilt up air up air up air up air back air back air up air back air like i love the edge guarding of this character i think the ability to go anywhere with pikachu the ability the ability to edge guard the sound design of this character is really really good but his combos are a little too repetitive to put him in hype like thunder is like the only cool like the thunder is by far the coolest move pikachu has um, and I think down smash and forward smash are pretty cool, but like, I think he's in kind of hype. Olimar! Listen, this character's so hard and impossible to figure out, but this character's so lame. Like, the fact that Pikmin latch onto three different spots of people is obnoxious. The fact that Olimar has so many knockdowns and the ability to just zone the way he does. Like, listen, I'm not saying Olimar doesn't have cool stuff, because Olimar does have cool stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I think. Olimar can be cool. But the large majority of the game, people are getting frustrated by Pikmin latching onto them. People are getting hit by weak forward smashes and purple side Bs. Like, he's interesting as hell. Um, but the thing is, like, as I mentioned with Snake, he's a setup character. Min Min, you're constantly thinking about stuff, sure. And Olimar is too, but Olimar has armor and isn't a setup character. Like, interesting doesn't necessarily mean hype. Fine, okay, chat. Also, Shutan's not that cool. Shoot on just backers a lot. Piranha Plant. Meh. I don't want to put Piranha Plant in not hype. Um, again, he does spam like side B, uh, neutral B a lot, but I think Plant is in meh because his combos, dude, when Plant goes off, he goes off. Like when he gets cool, like down B edge guards, when he has Patui into like, like you get like landing up air, Patui forward air, like that stuff just looks so satisfying. Um, his back air just looks cool. He has very good sound design in my opinion. Um, I think Plant is cool sometimes, but again, then he also just spams neutral B and side B, so I'm gonna put him in meh. The Pits, I think they're the same level of hype. Um, I'll put Pit in meh. I think Pit has, obviously, like, they play a lot of neutral and their combos are pretty cool to look at, but they don't have anything overwhelming enough or anything cool enough or anything fast enough for them to be in kind of hype. Um, their sound design is good, but it's not, like, hype. It's not like, whoa, that move is awesome. It's like, oh, that Nair sounds, like, good. Right? Like, maybe, like, Nair up till stuff is pretty hype, but I think they're just- they're, nothing about them is necessarily not hype, but nothing ne about them is necessarily hype or kinda hype, so... Meh. Just like they are on the tier list. <laughs> Although they're a bit better on the tier list now, of course, after the, the buffs. Pokemon Trainer. I Pokemon Trainer's hype. I think each individual, um, Pokemon can be pretty lame, but having three characters at your disposal is hype. Their kill confirms are cool, their combos are cool enough, um, I think they're sick. Like, each, each Pokemon does have lame stuff about them, but the ability to swap in and out, the, dif the ability to, like, play differently and do all these different things and have all these different combo routes and playing them depending on the match, I just think they're cool. Like, I just think PT's cool. Like, they're so dynamic. Like, they're such a dynamic character. Each character has enough sauce. Each character has enough flaws that I think they're, like, people aren't, like, oh, my God, they're, like, broken, broken, broken. It's like, eh, no, they have, like, just some, some lame stuff. Which, like, sure, but... I think they're cool. 
I think Pokemon Trainer is pretty cool. Like, they can play lame, but the majority of their play is at least going to be, like, kind of hype. Or hype. So, they're in hype. Ridley! Ridley's in kind of hype. His sound design, his moves... Nah, fuck this. Ridley's hype. Ridley's hype. I love Ridley Nair. I love Ridley Downbeat. I love his forward smash, his down smash, his up smash, his up air, his up tilt, his forward tilt, his forward air, his back air. His moves are so cool. Side B is so hype. Yeah, he know he's in hype. Side B and down B by themselves. Like, this character's just sick. Like... This character doesn't really camp. They kind of play like mid-range, but I love their setups. I love their design. I love their sounds, the taunts, the... I mean, obviously I'm not counting this in this, but like their final smash is super cool. I think Ridley's crazy hype. Like, I love watching Ridley players play. I love their up B. I love the ability to go for spikes. I love neutral B. Like, it's just a cool projectile. It's... I like... I just love this character. This character's sick. This character's so sick. Rob. Listen, I know. I know. I'm in Rob. Oh my god, Ethan, he's so lame. He just camps in Zero to Death suit. But you know what? Zero to Death? Kinda hype. Down tilt combos? Kinda hype. Barry? Not hype. If it wasn't for down throw up tilt up air, he would be in hype. I love his Zero to Death. I love the combo routes this character can have. Did you see Zachary Shmoove on Etsuji? It hurt because it was against Pikachu. But have you seen this character do some of the cool stuff? Yeah. Is some of it dash attack into gyro throw uh, side B? Yeah, that's super lame. Not gonna lie. But, like, this character's cool. This character has cool stuff. And it's for a character that doesn't even, like, exist in terms of actual video games. Like, I don't know. I think Rob is cool. Like, Waddy's Rob is cool. Zachary's Rob is cool. Some other Robs have cool stuff about them. Burner Boost is hype. His edge guarding is cool. Like, I don't know. That's like saying Luigi's hype. Luigi's literally right here. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. People just hate it. Because they're like, oh my god, it's so overpowered. But, like, it's not overpowered. Just get over it. But, like, Rob is... Uh, Rob on Wi-Fi? Not hype. Rob offline, because that's what I'm doing, kind of hype. Because a lot of the reasons Rob is getting away with so much on Wi-Fi is because you can't punish his landing. Wolf is... Wolf isn't either kind of hype or hype. I'm not sure. I'm going to say kind of hype for now. I think his movement is great. Um, He kind of runs into a little bit of like Lucina problem where it's like kind of obvious what he wants to go for. And I don't like Down Smash. I think Down Smash is pretty lame. But man, when this character can go off, this character goes off. But like, Bear Bear Side B, things that end with Side B... Parry footstool up B, footstool up B in general. This character has enough where it's like, ooh, this character's kind of saucy. They have great air mobility. Um, you know, if, if Gun didn't have the big hitbox, maybe it would be in hype. Uh, maybe if, if just a little better in general. If Maybe if this character could edge guard, this character would be in hype. But I just feel like Wolf is overall a very cool character, but just not cool enough. And his sound design isn't good enough to quite be here. Playing him is mad fun because he has a bunch of options. Great. Robin. Robin is... They're either in meh or kind of hype, because I feel like sometimes Robin is kind of hype. Watching Jewel play, watching some of the kill confirms that these people have with, like, the weak thunders and stuff like that. Like, I know there's a kill confirm of, like, arc thunder, weak thunder, up smash now, or, like, up air or something like that, which is, like, crazy. This character has confirms out the ass. The only reason I put them down here, not in kind of hype, is because, again, similar to what I just said about Inkling in the recap, um, they have play the game for you, like, edge trapping, that kills you. So, like, a lot of the times you're playing this character and you're just like, ugh, like, yeah, arc fire down smash, woo, cool, yay. It's not fun and it's not really satisfying, but, like, damn. Otherwise, this character's pretty cool. Like, I do like their forward air, I like their Levin sword, I like Nosferatu, I like all their different thunders. Um, Elwin can be really cool, especially if you use it to spike, but they're not consistently hype enough, especially considering a lot of them is like, hit someone off stage, arc fire, arc fire, arc fire. So, yeah. Rosalina is in meh. I think technically, if you're looking at inputs, Rose is pretty hype. But this character just still ends up playing slow. This character ends up uh, just walling people out and playing really lame. And I don't say they're not hype because they do are technical enough and they have cool enough things that they're in meh and not, not hype. But um, I think this character, like if their jab was worse, the, honestly, they would be kind of hype. If they didn't just jab all the time because jabbing is broken, then I would put Rose up higher than this. Again, tears aren't ordered. So, but I think, I think Rosa, like, can be cool. I, I love watching Rosa. Like, personally, I love watching Rosa. But she does play lame a lot. And, like, I appreciate the hell out of this character. But then she just jabs. Roy! Bitch! Roy's hype. Same as Krom. They just go, just, they run at your face and just, and that's hype. Like, aggressive characters are hype. And yeah, you can play this character kind of lame, and down tilt can be kind of stupid. But, like, Roy's just hype. 
Like, he gets in there. Jab side B is so hype. It's, like, jab back air, jab read forward smash. Like, all those things that Roy and Crom do to just, like, press at your face are just awesome. Like, they're so cool. Playing against them can be overwhelming, but overwhelming doesn't mean not hype. It is hype. If you lose to them, you feel bad about it, but it's hype. Like, Roy and Crom are hype. Ryu! I'm gonna put Ryu the same place as Ken. Actually, no. Mm, yeah, I'll just put them both in here. Because, again, running forward and doing things with these characters is really cool. The only reason I'm gonna put Ryu... I might put Ryu in meh is because he camps more. Because he has better fireballs. But I think both Ryu and Ken are... Can, like, can be played aggressively. Just characters that are good at running up and hitting your shield, in my opinion, are pretty hype. Because they're aggressive and you're just trying to, like, fight that fight immediately. Steve isn't on this yet, but I think Ryu's super cool. Or, like, can be cool. Like, again, his combos are really satisfying. Uh, sound design is great. Their parry animation is fantastic. So, yeah, they're in kind of hype. Samus. Samus is meh. You can play this character definitely in a not-hype way, for sure. Like, I definitely understand people thinking Samus is really, really lame. And Bomb is broken. Charge Shot's broken. Um, and so they do have, like, free ledge trapping, like I kind of talked about with Robin. But I think part of what they do is cool, because I like their edge guarding. I love, like, up air, up air, up B. It's just cool. You know, they have really good sound design, in my opinion, because, like, Nair, up tilt, things like that are really, really good. And, like, I do think Samus is definitely, could be not hype if you want to, but I think she has enough to pull her out of not hype, if that makes sense, to put her in meh. Like, I don't think she's cool. I'm not saying she's cool. I'm not. This is why I don't play Samus. I think Samus is lame. Like, I don't like playing this character that much. At the same time, charge shot down air, pretty cool. Back air satisfying, pretty cool. Also, she got movement with beer reverse and stuff like that, so that's cool. Sans, this character is super hype. This character is the fucking coolest character. He's bald. How can I not love a character that's bald? Sheik, this character's hype. Sheik is hype. Love this character. This character is in your face. This character has so many confirms. Their combos go forever. They have edge guarding. Their animations are beautiful. Their damage output's really low, but at the same time, it's like a masterful type of character. Like, God, I love watching Void. I love watching Void's Sheik and a couple other people's Sheik, but mostly Void's Sheik. It's so cool. The confirms are so sick. Drag downs are awesome, in my opinion. Raindrop is so cool. This it's like, God, this character is just cool. I love Sheik. Shulk. Shulk's at best in kind of hype. Maybe in meh. I think speed art and smash art are hype. I think Shulk is definitely not hype. I don't think. Um, because he plays a little too linearly. But like, speed art? Kind of cool. Jump art? Sick. He can kind of play meh. But then because he's constantly changing and he's constantly being weird and like changing his stats, I think that is pretty hype. And I think his combos can be really cool, especially with like buffer deactivate stuff. Yeah, like dial stores and stuff like that. I think it's super cool. So I'm going to put him in kind of hype. The Belmonts. The Belmonts are meh. I'm not going to put them in not hype because they can be not hype. But this character has combos and has really interesting setups that a lot of the not hype characters don't have. And they're not, like, there are obviously, like, they're zoning and that's most of their gameplay. But it's not like a zoning like Game & Watch. It's not like a zoning like me, or not zoning. It's not like a zoning like me Gunner. It's not like a zoning like Olimar, even like Samus, right? Where, like, they're at least moving and, like, doing different stuff. And, of course, you have downer up B. You have grow out of shield option. You have just, like, enough that this character is, like, competing constantly. Granted, they have a bad recovery. But downer up B saves the balance from being not hype. Yeah, basically, in my opinion. Also, like, a couple things with, like, drag down Nair into, like, side B returning into, like, up smash and stuff like that, so... Also, I mean, one of the hypest moments in, like, the world was, uh, when Shutan downer to Pikmin. Never forget. Never forget that. Sonic. Not hype. You play this character by running away the whole time. They don't even have a projectile. It's not even a minigame. I think some things that Sonic do can be cool. Barely. I don't want to say that. I hate shitting on characters, which is why some of my list is so small down here. But, like, they're just lame. Like, they're not interactive. They're just not interactive. Bad sound design. Bad visuals. Just spring like i don't know this character like has game and watch syndrome of like just spam up e, and then has like a really non-interactive neutral so i don't know and he was designed to play like that too so like that's it like doesn't help terry i think terry's at least kind of hype i think he's like around shota thing where like he runs up and just kind of like smacks your shield and like smacks those type of things um i love his sound design it's wonderful i love the concept of go because again similar to what i said about joker it's like oh my god like you're always tense because you never know if it's going to be done I love like F tilt into back B into crack shoot. I think go is pretty cool. I think their up B is cool. I like the fact they have a charge thing, which is like the only character in this game to have that. So I don't know, I think Terry can be kind of hype. I'm not sure in hype. Yeah, I think I think Buster Wolf looks too cool to, and like Power Geyser look too cool to not put them in hype. Jab, jab, power dunk, obviously. Um, I think they're cool. Like I think they're somewhat linear, but the linear is cool. So I'm gonna put them in hype. 
Toon Link. I think Toon Link's in meh. I think he's mobile enough to be, like, not not hype. And he does have some pretty cool stuff. Like, I love his forward tilt. I love up tilt combos. I love his up B just in general. Um, he has confirms, which are pretty hype. Like, boomerang forward air and stuff like that. Uh, but, like, the reason Link is in kind of hype, like, here, is because he can play either lame or aggressive. I don't think Toon Link can really play aggressive, so he's going to be in meh. He's, the, he's by far the lamest Link. Like, Young Link can play lamer, but Link, Young Link has a bunch of cool stuff. Villager, also meh, with Isabel. Let's put them next to each other. Because, again, the large majority of their game is going to be camping. It is. The large majority of Villager and Isabel's game is camping. But sometimes they just go, hey, what if I hold forward and smack your goddamn shit off? Like, down throw, fair, 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 fair. I love their edge guards. I love, like, bowling ball's cool, tree's cool. Like, there's enough things that are just like, whoa, like, that character is crazy that I think they're not in not hype. Both of them, basically. I love their dash attack. They have setups, right? So, I think it's cool. Wario. Listen, Waft is a dumb mechanic, and I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I enjoy it, but God... Is it cool to watch? Nair, up air, up air on platform waft is mwah. His movement is so fast. He has so many cool, there's so much cool things about this character. Um, Wario can be really cool. Like he can play really lame, which is why like, I think optimal, I think not optimal. I think Wario has things that put him into hype, but the fact that he's going to have to camp for like a minute and a half, is it makes him kind of hype and not hype. Cause I love his movement. I love his aerials. His sound design's great. Forge to bah. It's just great. Like, I love, I think Wario is cool. Like, I don't like it. Wii Fit Trainer. Listen, a bunch of people don't like Wii Fit Trainer. And listen, I understand that some people camp at the ledge, side B, neutral B, and that's it. But yo, this character goes in and smacks you. Have you ever watched Varun? Have y'all ever watched Varun? Where he runs forward and just uses their frame data and just like smacks you. It's crazy. It's so cool. Varun's Wii Fit is so sick. They're kind of hype. They do a bunch of damage. Their kill confirms are awesome. I love things like Nair 1 into back air. I love their up smash. I love so many things about this character. It is so, so cool. Then you have John Numbers, who is like all the way down here. Like, not even here. Like, not here, but like here. Like, terrible. Like, not fun to watch. But this character has some sauce. So I'm going to put them in kind of hype. Young Link. Similar to Link, I think Young Link's kind of hype. I think... They can play lame as hell. They can just spam neutral B. They can just only camp you. And that's pretty lame. But also, Young Link has the speed, has the confirms, and has the pressure to play in your face and get reward off of it. Because down tilt is safe. You have jab two, which is safe. You have things like run up into like Nair, which like Nair is safe. You have Nair down tilt. You have, of course, combos into up B. You have combos into down air. I think this character is kind of hype. Like when they're going off, they are hype. But then they can play in a not hype way, which to me, because their hype is still like their hype is honestly pretty present in tournament matches, like high level tournament matches. I do think like arrow, arrow, up B is a cool confirm. Like, I think it's so sick. It's lame, but it's also sick. So I'm going to put them in kind of hype. Zelda. I'm going to put Zelda in not hype. Because the thing about Zelda is like she's so reliant on down B and side B. And like that's like the large majority of what Zelda does. And that's not exactly fun. Because you're just kind of wondering if she's going to release side B early. She does or she doesn't. And then you do nothing. You spam neutral B at a disadvantage. They're not fast enough to really have offensive pressure. They're floaty, so the games take longer. I just think this character, if this character was fast faller or had slightly more things that were safe on shield, like they'd be cool. I don't know. I think they're meh. I think they're like pretty lame. And Zoot Suit. I think Zero Suit, look, she plays lame. Not going to lie. Her gameplay can very effectively be lame. But she's kind of hype. Boost kick is a cool move. Down smash is a cool move. Side B is a cool move. They're very satisfying. They're very, like, cool to get hit by. There's a reason why people love Zero Suit, even if 50 to 70% of the game, they're running back and spamming Zare. Flip kick is sick. Nair fair flip kick is sick. Their speed is awesome. Like, flip jump in general is just really cool. Their edge guarding is amazing. They're, like, they just make you feel like you get hit and you're just going to explode into candy. Socially acceptable Sonic is a good way to put it, Daedalus. Thank you. But, again, they are because, yeah, sure. Is Zoot Suit going to spam Nair or Zare? Yeah, they're going to spam their safe arrow on shield? Yeah, it's like... But at the same time, if you can be aggressive safely, I think that's cool. And you gain a lot. Like, Zero Suit gets a lot of momentum off of some of her lame. Whereas, like, some characters, like, let's say Zelda or Olimar, is like, cool, I was lame. Time to take stage and then slowly back up because I'm still playing lame. Whereas Zero Suit might do that, but then she's going to zare you at 60 and kill you, which is lame from a, you know, competitor's perspective, but it does look cool, and it's a sick combo, and, you know, she is hype when she gets her hype moments, which is why she's not in hype, because she's not, she's not hype, 
because she does play lame too much. But I think she's kind of hype. Right, Steve? I will use Sans as Steve. Sans, or Steve is all the way up here. So you see where he is here? Whoop. Hype as hell. I think that's such a cool DLC. And yeah, that's going to be about it for the um, hype list. Again, I love this game. I think a lot of characters are hype. I know a lot more people put more characters down here, but I just really like this game and I can appreciate a good zoner. And that's gonna mainly be why I think this game is just cool. I just love this game. This game is so sick and I love it to death. Um, yeah, as always, social media, panda, and partner stuff is down below, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Okay,